Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about a tricky concept in robotics, the singularities. What they are, what they are their effect on the robot motion, and how to avoid them. In the normal industrial manipulator, there are three main types of singularities. Let's gonna see them. The most frequently encountered singularity in robotics is the wrist singularity. In this particular type of singularity, the axes four and six of the robot are aligned. And during the robot motion, as you can see, the TCP of the robot will remain still while these two axes will rotate very fast, causing a very inefficient motion. The second type of robotic singularity we are talking about is the shoulder singularity. Uh, this singularity occurs when the wrist center point, so the point where the axis 4, 5, and 6 of the robot wrist will intersect, becomes aligned to the axis that goes out from the joint one. In this particular type of singularity, if you try to move from this position, you will notice that the robot joints 1 and 4 will start to rotate very fast in opposite direction, while the TCP will remain almost still, causing a very inefficient robot motion. Now you can see this effect. The last robotic singularity we are talking about is the elbow singularity. Let's imagine we have three points on the robot arm. The center of the joint 2, the center of the joint 3, and the wrist center point. If these three points align, the elbow of the robotics arm will get stuck in the so-called elbow singularity, no matter where the TCP is. Fortunately, the singularity is least unexpected and it's easily avoidable by properly designing your application layout. We'll speak about it in the last part of this video. For the three robotic singularity that you've seen, fortunately, it is always possible to properly design your application layout and or your robot cycle to avoid linear trajectories that leads to that. Also, by using an ABB singular mini, we have two main advantages. The first one that is specific for this robot is that here we have a seven degrees of freedom robotics arm, so a redundant arm. And here you can see we are in a wrist singularity case, but it's easy with the singular Mumi to find an alternative arm configuration that grants the same TCP position in space while not being in singularity of the wrist. Also, by using an ABB robot, we can be certain that the firmware that is installed in all the controllers will try its best to avoid singularities. In fact, here you can see a shoulder singularity case, but you will see that the TCP during its motion will just pass through the singularity point without any problem. And this is because the motion planner permits a slightly deviation of the TCP from its linear path. Now you know what a singularity is and how an ABB singular NUMI can help you avoid it. See you next video. Bye bye.